Welcome back. This is going to be a quick video. I just want to show how to add uh, distance culling to our uh, PVP nameplates that we added. So let me show you. Let me show you the problem. Actually, it's not. Uh, di it's uh, we already have distance culling. It's uh, line of sight culling. So uh, what we have to do here to be able to test this is we have to drop down some kind of wall. And so I think here in the Paragon Props, Monolith, Ruins, hopefully compiling shaders isn't, yeah, doesn't seem too bad. Let's see when we drop something in. So for this test, I need, I need a wall. Let's see here. Yeah, here we go. That should work. And then I also need a half wall because I need to show something else here. I think I saw something here. Some, like, some rubble or something. It was a half wall type thing. Maybe this could work. That isn't really what I was looking for. Maybe this. Yeah. We'll just rotate that around. And it's partially underground, but that's fine. I just need uh, something that works as a partial wall that's probably okay. I can probably use right in here. Just need to show show an effect here of the problem. Okay, uh, so now that we have a wall, uh, let me show you what we're trying to fix. So I'm gonna spin up two players. Hit play. Please don't be nighttime. It's not nighttime. Okay, so. This player is going to go run behind the wall. Well, you can already see the problem. <laughs> see? You see that? So the problem here is that we shouldn't see it through the wall. So the distance check is working correctly, but we're not doing a line of sight check. And so that's what we're going to add. So, we want to come into our blueprints base character. And here was what we've got. So, we need to put it in between here. Um, wait, hold on. Let me think for a second. Distance check. comes first. Okay, so we're going to do the distance check first. We have to want to put it right in here. The distance check is the cheapest, so best to cull as much as possible and we'll put it right in between here. So we need to make some room. Hopefully that's enough room to do this. So what we want to do is we want to do a line trace by channel. And we're going to use the output of that to do a branch. And we're basically going to say if it hits, we also want to call this hidden. But if it doesn't, continue on to the visible. Okay. And we're doing it after our distance check because the distance check is going to be cheaper than a line trace. So we only want to line trace what's shorter than that distance. 
and we're also going to lime trace to our camera so we're going to use this same code this same uh, let's see here yeah get camera location is where we're going to start our trace and then the actor location is where we're going to put it here. Now I'm going to do this wrong the first time so that we I can show you the problem. And visibility is fine. Uh huh, uh huh. Don't need to ignore. Da, da, da. We're not using the debug, and we're doing that. Okay. So let's see what happens with that. Start up for two players again. Okay. Run behind this. And then we'll go run up. And as you can see, it's working. But I'm going to show you there's a little bit of an issue. And so I'm going to switch back here, and this is why I created this half wall. So the problem is that, look at this. It's not going to count as seeing it until we see from the center of the camera to the center of them. All right, so you got to kind of figure out where the center of the camera is. It actually feels like it's worse than that, but that's just because of the angle of the camera. So that's not really what we want, right? I'd, at this point, I mean, they're mostly visible. I really want, I really want them to be shown. So what works good is moving it. Uh, remember the or center of origin. We'll go take a look at this real quick. So um, the center of origin. in the mesh you can see that it moves the feet to negative 97 right so it's basically the center is in the middle and uh, so we want to move it up and so we're going to come in here potentially if we add different heights of characters and stuff we might build that into it but right now I, we're just going to go simple and we're going to basically Add an offset, and let's go with plus 90. So we're pretty much moving it about up to the head, saying, can the center of the camera see the head? And let's give that a try. There we go. Switch back over to kind of get an idea when it goes away. Yeah, so you can see a little bit. Again, remember it's the center of the camera. And you could adjust it a little bit. You could do multiple line traces if you really care that much, but I think this is going to be good for our game. I mean, it's a little bit, that's slightly off, but it's fine. So, uh, like I said, this was going to be a short video with a very easy fix, but uh, a few of you had had uh, mentioned that, hey, we're seeing it through the wall, this isn't what we wanted, and uh, so here is the easy fix. Until next time.